one of your continuous here. Well, now since it is the first Star Wars day, here's my review for the third Star Wars prequel, and that is Star Wars Attack on Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. Now, this premiered all the way back on May 19, 2005. I actually saw this one in theaters. I really had loads of fun watching this one in theaters. And to be, to be honest, out of all the prequels, I'm not going to lie, Revenge of the Sith is the best one. I adore this one. You know, uh, this time around, uh, you know, it ends up being three years since, you know, Clone Wars began, and so Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi, played by Ewan McGregor, and Jedi Knight Anakin Skywalker, rescue, uh, you know, Palpatine, played by Ian McDermott, um, from General uh, Grievous, um, you know, who, of course, is the commander of the droid army, and here, of course, uh, this does show how, uh, you know, uh, Anakin, you know, pretty much embraces the dark side and becomes who he is, who he, and who he become, who he was. Obviously, he becomes Darth Vader. So, yeah. Uh, but anyway, Revenge of the Sith definitely has some of the best, like, uh, you know, art design and stuff like that. Really cool uh, story involved. Uh, you know, uh, I mean. This is probably Hank Christensen's best performance as Anakin Skywalker. I know he played this, like, third time around, or I say second time around. Second time's the charm because he plays this role just perfectly. Really a great uh, performance he, he gives as the role of Anakin. Once again, you've got a Samuel Jackson at Mace Windy, who played, who's, of course, the Jedi Master, senior member of the Jedi Council. Uh, Jimmy Smith, of course, played uh, Bell Organa. Uh, Christopher Lee, you know, was also great in this. Uh, Natalie Portman, once again, reprised his role as, uh, um, as Padam Amada, who, of course, now she's married to Anakin, so... And she's, of course, you know, uh, pregnant with their children, so... Yeah. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I really thought, um, Revenge of the Sith, like, was definitely, uh, you know, really cool. I mean, you even got, like, uh... You know, you even got, uh, you know, Luke, obviously we all know who, uh, Luke's, who, uh, Anakin's son becomes, a.k.a. Luke Skywalker, and we end up seeing a infant version of Luke Skywalker, which was pretty cool. Uh, you also had, it was also really cool to hear, uh, James, James L. Jones making an uncredited cameo appearance as the role of Darth Vader, that was really cool to watch. Uh, of course, George Lucas, you know, he pretty much directed all the prequels. And I didn't mind his job. I know he did a decent enough job. Uh, you know, this movie premiered all the way back on uh, 2005, and it ended up becoming, like, the last Star Wars movie until, like, uh, pretty much um, until, you know, uh, you know, Disney took over and stuff like that. Unless you count Clone Wars. So I'm talking about live action, you know. Uh, anyway, so, yeah, I mean, it was pretty decent. Uh, cool action see- scenes. Uh, visuals. It, this movie is stunning. I mean, definitely hands down stunning. It's so good. Uh, it's so darn entertaining to watch. I really adore uh, Miranda and stuff. And, uh, and of course, you end up having Joe Egerton playing uh, Uncle Owen, who, of course, he is coming back for the Obi Wan series. So, can't wait to see that. I mean, yeah, I thought uh, they did a really decent job with um, Miranda and stuff. And, you know, even, like, lots of people who are not a fan of the prequels, they will actually say that Revenge of the is the best one. I mean, it does have an 8% Rotten Tomatoes, so out of all the, um... So pretty much out of all the uh, Star Wars prequels, the Revenge of the you know, is the best one on Rotten Tomatoes as well, so... Go for that one. But, uh, yeah, Revenge of the is definitely a really cool one. I mean, I had... Probably one of the best times I had at the movies was seeing Revenge of the Sith in theaters, uh, back in the day. Uh... Yeah, really awesome flick. And I cannot wait to see uh, Hey Christian back as uh, Anakin. Or I should say maybe mostly Darth Vader, I'm guessing. But I can't wait to see him back as Anakin once again in, you know, the Obi-Wan series. So, anyway, let me leave you guys. Have you ever seen Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith? And so, what's the over? Were you a fan of it? Were you not a fan of it? Out of all the prequels, which one um, do you prefer? Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, or Revenge of the Sith? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Team Movies, and let the and may the fourth be with you.